Now, let us discuss some of the exercise questions from the NCRT syllabus of the topic. Some basic principles and techniques in the organic chemistry, the concepts of which we learned within the previous class. Now, the question number 12.2. The question is asking us, indicate the sigma bond and the pi bonds in the following molecules. They are given as the six molecules and what is being asked to be done, to be done from us? They are asking us to write the number of sigma bonds and the number of pi bonds. Now first, look at the formula and based on that, try to write the structure of that compound and by looking at the structure, you will be in a position to write the number of sigma bonds and the covalent bonds. Say for example, C6H6, we all know we are talking with respect to benzene ring and this is having the presence of alternate single and double bonds. And what else is there? We know that at the corners there is presence of carbon atom and each carbon atom in turn is linked with one hydrogen atom. So therefore, the formula is C6H6. Now let us count the number of sigma bonds and pi bonds. Now the question is how to identify a given bond as a sigma bond or as a pi bond. Very simple. Wherever we have the presence of single covalent bond, it is definitely sigma bond. And wherever we have the presence of double covalent bond, there is one sigma bond and then one, one sigma bond and one pi bond. Here the double bond is because of the alternating positions of the pi electron cloud in the benzene ring. So therefore how many sigma bonds do we see? There are six sigma bonds between carbon and hydrogen and six sigma bonds between carbon and carbon and three pi bonds are there between carbon and carbon. Now look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sigma bonds are there between carbon and hydrogen. Similarly, between each carbon atom in the benzene ring there is one sigma bond. And again, in the alternate position we find the presence of double bond and that double bond is because of the pi electron cloud and there are three pi bonds. So in the molecule of benzene that is with the formula C6H6 we find presence of six sigma bonds between carbon and hydrogen, six sigma bonds between two carbon atoms and three pi bonds between the two carbon atoms. Then there is another formula C6H12. Now here they are talking with respect to cyclohexane. Now how is cyclohexane? This is also a six member ring. But then this is a member of cycloalkane. So therefore it contains only saturated hydrocarbon so between the carbon atoms in the entire structure we find the presence of only single covalent bond and each carbon is linked with two hydrogen so therefore the formula is C6H12 now count between for one carbon atom there is two hydrogen atom. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 sigma bonds between carbon and hydrogen. Then what else? Between the six carbon atoms we find the presence of six sigma bonds. So therefore, six sigma bonds are there between carbon and carbon. Since we do not have 
have the presence of double bond here. There are no pi bonds in this case. So I repeat, in cyclohexane, we find presence of 12 sigma bonds between carbon and hydrogen, 6 sigma bonds between carbon and carbon, and no pi bonds exist between the carbon atoms. So therefore, this molecule does not contain any pi bond. Now, let us look at the case number 3. With the formula CH2Cl2. Now let us see how the structure would be. By looking at the structure, we would be definitely in a position to count the number of sigma and pi bonds. Now, how is this structure CH2Cl2? We find presence of one carbon. And for this carbon atom, there is presence of two hydrogen atom. So CH2 is completed. Then there was two more Cl. So one Cl this side, another Cl this side. This is obtained by substituting the two hydrogen atom of methane with two chlorine. Therefore, the name of this compound would be Dichloromethane. Now, how many sigma bonds and pi bonds? Between carbon and hydrogen, between carbon and hydrogen, we find the presence of two sigma bonds. Then, between carbon and chlorine, we find the presence of two more sigma bonds. And in this case also, there are no pi bonds. There are no pi bonds since this molecule is not containing any double bond. Next molecule for our study given is CH2 double bond C and then CH2. This molecule. Let me just write it. C double bond C double bond C and the two terminal carbon atom is linked with two hydrogen atoms. So what do we see there? One sigma bond and one pi bond between each carbon. So therefore between the carbon atoms how many sigma bonds do we see? One and two. So two sigma bonds are present between the two carbon atoms and then between carbon and hydrogen how many sigma bonds? 1, 2, 3, 4. So between carbon and hydrogen we find the presence of 4 sigma bonds and between the carbon atoms there is presence of 2 pi bonds. So therefore 2 Pi bonds. So this molecule as a whole is containing carbon carbon 2 sigma bond, carbon hydrogen 4 sigma bond between the two carbon atoms here one and between these two here one. We find the presence of pi bonds so totally 2 pi bonds. Then next structure CH3NO2. Let us expand this structure and find out the number of sigma and pi bond. CH3 structure will be like this. This is linked with nitro group and nitro group goes like this. NO2 is present like this. Between one nitrogen and one oxygen there is double covalent bond. Between the nitrogen and the other oxygen, there is coordinate bond. Coordinate bonds are represented with the aroma from the donor to the receiver atom. So therefore, the number of sigma bonds, let us count. Between carbon and hydrogen, we find 1, 2, 3 sigma bonds. Then 
between carbon and nitrogen again we find the presence of one sigma bond and between the hydrogen there are three sigma bonds and between carbon and nitrogen one sigma bond between nitrogen and oxygen there is one sigma bond and again between this nitrogen and oxygen there is one pi bond so now we have in this molecule the molecule name is nitromethane now in this molecule between carbon and hydrogen we find presence of three sigma bonds between carbon and nitrogen one sigma bond between nitrogen and oxygen one sigma bond again between this nitrogen and oxygen there is one pi bond so totally we find the presence of four sigma bond and one pi bond now the structure number 6 now the structure is containing aldehyde and then n linked with h linked with c and c in turn is linked with three hydrogen now let us see between carbon and nitrogen this carbon and nitrogen and this carbon and nitrogen so we find the presence of one sigma bond and the second sigma bond so two sigma bonds then between carbon and hydrogen let us check between this carbon and hydrogen one sigma bond and between these three hydrogen and this carbon bond two three sigma bonds along with this one would be four so between carbon and hydrogen there are four sigma bonds between nitrogen and hydrogen here we find the presence of one sigma bond and between carbon and oxygen there is one more sigma bond and between the same carbon and oxygen there is presence of one pi bond because it's double covalent bond one would be sigma bond one would be pi bond so there is presence of one pi bond so this molecule as a whole will be containing 2 4 5 and then 6 sigma bonds and one 